Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. This is Vita with a collective message for you. Please take what resonates. Kick rocks to the rest. I'm feeling some very interesting energies this morning. There's someone that's uh, overstressed, very stressed out. They've been uh, in competition with you. They can't compete. There's another energy of someone that knows they made a very huge mistake when it comes to you. They're unable to admit, admit this mistake, but they feel that they have to speak out. There's something about a witness speaking out. So let's get a few cards. Just get one more from this deck, and we'll see what this energy is all about. Oh, wow. Well, so we have your soul is crystalline. Your soul is crystalline. So there's something about you very, very special, very deep. It's okay to stumble. You are on the right path. Someone wanted you to stumble. They might have thought you couldn't make it. Whatever endeavor this is, whatever challenge this is, they thought you were going to keep stumbling, but you picked yourself up. Here we have, you have not had a previous life on this planet. You are new here. This card has shown up before, if I'm not mistaken, just a couple of days ago. So this is interesting. This has to do with your soul. This has to do with how you're functioning currently on this planet. And... You could feel like you're stumbling, that you're not on path, but spirit really wants you to know that you are. And this is a process. Remember, life is a process. Here we have say what you mean and really mean it. Stop pretending. So as I said, there's someone that wants to come toward you. They have something to say. They don't know how to do it. This person could be very used to not really telling the truth or stretching the truth, but they're at a point now where the lies, whatever lies these might be, they just they keep growing. There's a lie that keeps growing here. And you see through it. You see through it. Your soul is crystalline. So let's clarify. Say what you mean and really mean it. Stop pretending. Someone needs to stop pretending. It's not doing them any good death transformation so someone understands that in order to stop stumbling to get on the right path they have to be real they have to be honest they have to stop pretending at the bottom we have page of swords this person is watching you you've gotten some information there's some information that has come through perhaps for yourself or this person or both. Someone wants to start over. Let's get another card. You have not had a previous life on this planet. Star seed energy. You have a very specific purpose. You know this. You're focused on your growth. Five of wands. Five of Wands. That's very interesting to clarify the uh, planet, previous life on this planet and not having one. So you could ver be very well sick of the conflict, sick of the uh, emotional manipulations that continue to play out in the collective. There's something that you're tired of, that you want to be over, that you're ending. You are speaking up more and more, saying exactly what you mean. You're not pretending. And someone could be following your lead, following your example. They know that you're on the right path. You were not here on another in another life. So there's going to be something I'm sure that's going to come out about wisdom, something about your wisdom. Let's keep going. Your soul is crystalline. Crystalline. Ooh, that almost fell all the way off the table. The fool. Clarifying your soul is crystalline. Knowing that you have this power. <clears throat> Excuse me. There goes my throat. The moon. Knowing that you have this power. And that once you take that leap, you're going to continue to fly, soaring upward. There's something about this moon energy and then Ace of Wands. So there's something that you know that you haven't quite wrapped your mind around yet. There's a truth that it could just be kind of tickling you a little bit. 
and you're not quite sure what it is, but it has to do with you, you being the center of something. You're the center of someone's world. Someone wants to come toward you quickly with the moon and the ace of wands and the magician. You could be unaware of this person, magician, and then followed by magician, we have seven of pentacles. Someone wants to invest in you. They see, so let's just say that you worked with this person or you had a relationship with this person and you might have been going through a hard time, or at least that's what it appeared to be, and someone didn't think you would recover, but recover you did, and you recovered in a very interesting way, an unexplainable way with this crystalline energy here. <laughs> Someone realizes that they were a fool. They, they spoke too soon. Somebody spoke too soon. Now they want to come to you and speak up. Let's get another card for death. I'm going to stick with this deck for a second. Another card for death. It's coming out almost upside down, but not quite. So I feel like this is your energy. You've been in hermit mode a very long time. And you're like, I know I got to get out there, man. I know I got to get out there and deal with some things, deal with some people. You know, you've, you could, you've invested in yourself. You've invested in your work. Now it's, it's, there's next level. There's a next level occurring where you just aren't even going to be able to be in this hermit mode in terms of your physical world. Mentally, I'm sure whoever you are, however this might be resonating with you, you're not telling people your business. You're keeping a lot close to your chest under your sleeve, but you do realize that you've got to come out. There's some sort of coming out energy here. What's at the bottom? <laughs> the world. Yes, I'm telling you. I'm telling you this energy was coming out in yesterday's reading. You are going to blow something up. Not literal, like, not literally. I don't need my channel getting all wigged out. Somebody is wigged out because it's becoming so clear that you're about to enter center stage. Oh my gosh, that's what this is. Your transformation will be televised. <laughs> oh my gosh. And maybe you, you don't want that. Look, two of pentacles. Maybe you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like my life the way it is right now. I don't want to be bothered with people. <laughs> Spirit says otherwise. Ace of pentacles. Oh, man. God be the glory. <laughs> Woo, I got to chill. Oh, my gosh. Excitement. This is something to be excited about. Excitement. I can't stress that enough. Get ready. Get ready. Your world is changing. Your internal world is changing. Five of Pentacles. No, five of Wands. Right? Let me just see this. Y'all know I can't see all that well. Five of Wands. I just, yeah, five of Wands. You have not had a previous life on this planet, and maybe you're like, it I, you know, I'm ready to like do something different on another planet, but you gotta stay put. You gotta stay put. These cards all just flipped. I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna put them back. But we have Page of Swords, Three of Cups, The Lovers, Knight of Wands. So this is some old with this five of, of wands. Guess what? I'm not claiming this energy for this reading. This this garbage can go back because you're not doing this choice. Pe Nobody gets to choose you. And that's what's coming through right here. Nobody gets to choose you. You choose. You It's your choice. Let's do this again. Five of Wands. Page of Swords watching you. Three of Cups wanting to celebrate. Knight of Wands, that can go either way. Lover, somebody wants to choose you after choosing somebody else. Like I said, we're going to leave that energy alone. Five of Wands, let's go. Let's go. You got choices. You ain't thinking about what anybody else is trying to choose or not. Look at this. 
Eight of Swords, and it landed on the Fool. Right, exactly, because there is someone in your midst who could literally be a fool, and they're trying to figure out how to approach you. Three of Cups. They see you celebrating. They see you being celebrated with this Page of Swords now following the Three of Cups. This person is watching your victories. They want to be a part of your victories, your celebrations. The moon secretly watching you. The sun watching you glow. This is your glow up here. You have transformed with this death card already out. You are the moon and the sun. Oh, yes, you are. I just got to chill. Okay, okay. Woo. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try this again. Five of words. I almost feel like I'm in a casino. I haven't been a, in a casino in years. Oh, what is this? In the reverse. Shut up. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarifying this five of wands. King of Pentacles in the upright. Followed by Ace of Pentacles. Come on now. Come on now. Your movement is... Uh, there's something going on with your movement, how you move. Things that were once seemingly a little bit slow are picking up. Um, there, The pace is changing. Your reality is changing. You're coming into your own front and center. You've worked methodically for a very long time. I want some more clarity for this uh, Knight of Pentacles, though. This King of Pentacles is in the upright. We're going to leave that like it is. Let's go, let's go here. I'm going to clarify all of these with a different deck. Why is death here? Let me do a quick shuffle. What's going on with my damn cards? Hold on. Seven of Wands in the reverse. No, wait. Okay, bear with me, y'all, because I really don't like my cards being all out of order. All right, let's clarify this death. Again, we've already got the hermit that's almost in reverse, but not quite. Say what you mean and really mean it. Stop pretending someone wants to stop wearing that mask, false mask, being false, being shady. Death. Death. Whoa. Death. Ace of Cups, clarifying death. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Landed face down on this Two of Pentacles. So, self-love, you're loving yourself. You uh, are feeling stronger. You know that you are always going to have, to have to speak your mind. You're not compromising for anyone or for any situation. The Seven of Pentacles that's face down on this two of pentacles it feels like you've closed out when it comes to some investments or maybe you were looking to invest in something or someone and you've changed your mind or there's some new options opening up for you not quite sure we've got this pentacles we've got a major arcana here two majors so whatever this is it's it's big with the death and the hermit Ace of Cups, your transformation is big. It's being seen. You're causing confusion. Someone's very off balance because they've watched your investments in yourself pay off. They want it to stop. They realize that you're not stopping. They can't stop you. Someone can't stop you. You're not afraid. Let's, uh, I'll leave this, I'll turn this over. Seven of Pentacles. Let's go with this Two of Pentacles. Okay, right. The magician. The magician. You've got everything that you need. You've got the pentacles. You've got the wands. you got the swords out. This eight of swords here. You're not mentally suppressed. Someone's mentally suppressed, depressed, repressed. Right? Eight of wands. You can't move any further. This person doesn't want you to move any further. They want you to stop. Someone wants you to stop. Knave of Cups is under this Eight of Wands. So someone's coming to you with an offer, but it's not, you're not going to be impressed by this. You're not impressed by much. 
you're doing you, you're doing your own thing. This is a really powerful magician card. Look at that focus there. You've streamlined something when it comes to your investments, your home, your work. There's something that's been streamlined and now you're working anew. Your creative streak, streak, streamline, stream, water, flow. Something about your ideas are flowing you could be seeing feathers. The light could be looking different to you. Maybe you're investing in some different sort of a light, even light bulbs in your home. There's something about darkness here. There's magic. You're uh, rewriting a book. You're rewriting a chapter in your life after a bit of uh, a lot of contemplation, perhaps, to a cop's. There's a decision you're being presented with. Do you stay independent? Maybe you're concerned about losing your independence to a new relationship. You can't lose your independence to anyone. Your soul is crystalline. Hermit. Diagonal. Diagonal. What's this? Okay, now we got this Queen of Cups. I thought it was going to show up in the reverse, clarifying this Hermit that's almost so. You are this Queen of Cups energy. You're in your Magician, High Priestess energy. You could be in a lot of mass. You could be, if you're masculine, you've got some feminine energy that you're integrating. And feminine, you're integrating your masculine, vice versa. That's why I said you're the sun and the moon previously. You're coming out of this hermit mode. There's something that's very clear to you. You know you have to open your heart a little more. Your heart is open, but it hasn't been open for others. There's a decision that you have to make. You're realizing that you're manifesting this new beginning. Maybe even a little bit reluct reluctantly. This could be something where you're connected to your higher self and your higher self is just completely bamboozled you in a, little, in a way not showing you everything, making sure you stay on track. Let's get a card for this five of wands. Or this could even be an external energy, a queen of cups that is realizing that they can no longer keep up with your pace. They can't compete with you. This could be a sibling even, sibling rivalry. Why is five of wands here? A mother figure. Okay, this is in the reverse. Hermit. Hermit. Holy sheesh. Eight of Wands. Oh, okay. Huh. You're ready to deal with the confrontation. You're ready to deal with the competition. You're about to you're about to knock something out the ballpark. And people aren't ready for you. They think they they think they know. Someone thinks they know. They don't know anything. Knight of Pentacles. There's something you're about to reveal, a revelation about yourself. Woo, the emperors in the reverse, clarifying this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And now we've got this Seven of Wands. So there's someone that has tried to take control of your life, take control of your path. They're unable to do it. Oh, this hermit with the emperor in the reverse, with the knight of pentacles in the reverse. You have not had a previous life on this planet. So there's another life that you've shared with someone else elsewhere, not on this planet. They've joined you here. Weird sirens. The sirens sound weird. There's something weird going on right here. Something weird. Seven of Wands. It has to do with your power. This person is still, whoever this might be, they're still trying to outwit you. They're trying to outwit you. They're waiting for a moment to confront you too. Someone want, They know that you're coming out. I'm gonna keep going because I'm not. I want to. I want to see. I want to see. Hold on. This the full. 
Okay. Seven of Cups, clarifying the full. And then we have the High Priestess, right? I feel like this High Priestess is your energy, the Magician, the Queen of Cups. This Emperor is in the reverse. There's someone, uh, stop pretending. Some, okay, this Emperor, the Emperor, what's that saying? Doesn't wear clothes or something like that. So there's punishment here with this Emperor. Hermit in the reverse. Hold on. Eight of Swords. Seven of Cups. You've made your choice. You're making your choice. You choose not to... Uh, you're choosing to come back out into the world. Eight of Swords. Eight of... Oh, my God. The Fool. We got the Fool twice in different positions. Six of Cups. This is someone from your past, like I thought. They're in this reverse emperor energy. Could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. This is like Mars. This could even be because it's the month of March. Stuff is about to kick off in this month. I can feel it. Six of Cups, death. You've put the past to rest, 10 of Wands. Someone wants you to open the door again, open the door to the past, hangman. Three of Swords, someone's very heartbroken about your progress, about your success. Let's get this uh, Kipper here. Why is this Emperor here in the reverse? Clarify this Emperor. Okay, great fortune. Clarifying Emperor in the reverse. It landed on the Seven of Cups, and then we have High Honor. Now, this is interesting, because I would not consider an emperor in the reverse of High Honor. We've got great fortune in the upright. This could be your energy. Someone wants to reverse your strength, steal your strength. Why is this hermit here in the reverse? Concern. Exactly. Exactly. Pathway. What did I tell you guys? What did I say? This is what this is. This is about your path. They thought if you if you had some uh, down times that required you. But see, this is the other thing too. Sometimes when people disappear, people think they disappeared just because they have problems. No, you disappeared because you had work to do for, on yourself. On yourself. King of Pentacles energy. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles energy. Eight of Pentacles energy. Exactly. You've been working very hard. And these people have just been watching you. And now they're concerned because you're coming out. You're coming out. This is a nightmare for this person. Your success is a nightmare for this person or these people. Could be more than one person with this five of wands. Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Mature woman. Kind of landed on this Five of Wands pathway. I feel like this is your energy. Mature woman. Now we've got courtship. And then we have despair and thoughts. So this is that energy of you really coming into your own fully, independently. You have been in incredibly self-reliant, incredibly self-reliant, and you deserve this new beginning without chaos. Ace of Cups, you know what you deserve. You know your worth. You know that you worked hard, and you know, you know that you have to work even harder. The work doesn't stop. You're evolving and you're going to continue to evolve and evolve and evolve and reach more and more different levels. <clears throat> Some of you could be learning a new language, love language. Someone does not speak your love language. Ace of Wands. You're not dealing with anyone that doesn't speak your love language. Point blank, period. 
Ace of Wands. Nothing wants to come out. Despair. Someone knows that you're not dealing with anyone that doesn't speak your language. Period. Okay, we'll just leave that there. Do we even want anything else? Look, aid. Someone needs your help. Come to my aid. I simply read, simply read song. Come to my aid. I'm not going to uh, start singing. No, I'm not. Woo! Do I want to deal with this deck? Protest. <laughs> So whatever that you're doing, you're causing a ruckus. You're causing a ruckus. You might speak about stuff that people are not trying to hear that are they can't even digest what you're spitting out, all right? They can't even digest it. You're on a roll. You're on a roll. Rolling the dice. Someone rolled the dice with you and they did not, they didn't win. Someone's not winning. Someone is not winning. Do I want to deal with this damn deck? Fright. Look at that. Someone's afraid. I don't want to deal with that deck. Hold on. Ah, I guess I will. No, I won't. <laughs> Just Ace of Wands. Come on now. They don't know how not to lie. Gemini Leo. It landed on the full... Don't forget, we got the full two times here. And then we've got this Eight of Swords here. So somebody's trapped by their own lies. Someone is trapped by their own lies, trapped in their own delusion with the Seven of Cups here. Your new, this is all about you, baby. Your new business venture will be successful and be profitable in two years time don't forget we did see this seven of pentacles it was face down so what this is also telling me is that you're expanding your business you've invested enough with whatever it is that is now working for you so you've moved on maybe to a different branch in the tree and now you're right back at it doing what needs to be done you're being this king of pentacles you're expanding your business you know that this new venture will be profitable. You can feel it. You can see the results of your work. So does someone else. They are still lying. Someone is lying to themselves. They've been lying to themselves because they thought that they could compete with you the whole time and win. Not the case. Woo! Let's go back to this Ace of Cups, right? Ace of Cups. You will rule them with an iron scepter. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. This kind of landed with this great fortune and this emperor in the reverse. So if you are kind of feeling like, you know, you're just ready to like slay, like just knock some people the hell out of like the universe, just uh, take a chili pill. <laughs> Take a chili pill. You will rule them with an iron scepter. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. This is really feeling like it goes with this emperor in the reverse energy. Someone really thought that they had they had uh, God's favor and they could rule over you. This person can't stop themselves from watching you. Ooh. Churl. Ace of Cups and try this again. These cards are not going where... Oh, come on. Trophy wife. Tro trophy wife landed on Hermit in the reverse. So this is also someone that just lacks uh, introspection, you know. Can't do any um, meaningful self-assessment, right? So there's this, uh, there's this emperor that is likely someone from your past. Doesn't have to be. This could be a new weird energy coming toward you. This could be a repeat of something you've already closed out just as spirit is testing you. Something like that, maybe, perhaps, or not. But we got trophy wife here landing on this hermit that's in the reverse. I feel like this trophy wife is connected to this emperor that's in the reverse. And or this emperor in the reverse wants you, sees you as a literal trophy. Because we do have this great fortune here. A goddess. This is like goddess energy. Golden flow. We already have this crystalline card out. So someone who is 
corrupted is very much aware of the type of energy that you embody and how much value you have as a soul. There's not many like you just came through. I'm getting congested. You deserve real soul love and you will have it. Exactly. What did I say? You're not, you're not going to deal with anyone that doesn't speak your love language. That's just what it is. And you don't care what they have. You don't care. You don't care what kind of billions they might have. You could care less. You could care less. Someone knows you could care less. Let's try this again. Well, forget it. Let's go. Why is this concern here? Oh, goodness. This is landing on this fool that's sideways. They deeply love you, but they are afraid, and so they stay away and remain unhappy, Capricorn and Leo. So we've got Leo out here twice. Leo, Gemini, Capricorn, Leo. So you could be dealing with these signs, or these signs are in your chart prominently, something like that. Energy can only be transmuted when you are in control of yourself with this emperor that's in the reverse. Clarifying this knight of pentacles that's in the reverse. Someone is not in control of themselves. They're not in control of their jealousy of you, your situation, your progress, your growth, your transformation. In fact, they're in a lot of despair. Could be because they see that you have a new relationship coming to you. Or they could be in a current relationship, this person. And they're both in bad health. Community in bad health. There are uh, communities that are just going to have to sink. They won't even be able to swim. They're losing jobs. They're not on the right path. They can't move forward. It's just what it is. It's not something that you are concerning yourself with. No matter if this person is a, a family member, ex-spouse, whatever. You have, uh, you've crossed the river is what I just heard. You crossed the river. Here go these cars with that old bangy ass. Those stupid... What do you call them? Stereo systems? Okay. What's this Queen of Cups talking about? Let's just see. Queen of Cups. You could be extra sensitive when it comes to your hearing. And so like loud, thumpy noises could really be annoying you right now. He believes he can't live without you. Girl, you better run. Guess where it landed? It landed right here. Y'all saw it. It landed right here on this emperor in the reverse, clarifying this queen of cups. You have a high tolerance for physical pain. This person knows that you are almost impenetrable. Impenetrable. I can't say it. And that's what they know. They know that they can't. Any daggers they've been trying to like cut you with, they, no. No, you've got nerves of steel. Whoever you are, you've got nerves of steel. Woo. All right, I think... Let's check out this magician. Let's just see. But this is... I mean, it's really crystal clear. And keep in mind, this past energy here, this could still be a new person coming toward you that is carrying... A lot of the energy of a past person that you dealt with. Why this happens, I don't really know. It could be a loop. It could be a portal. It could be doppelganger energy. It could be a whole lot of different things. But you're in the right place. You have the right perspective. You can see it all. And, you know, we always get tested. The game is never over, right? Magician. Someone wants you to be off balance. Let's just, yeah. Someone wants you to be off balance. <laughs> they live in constant regret about what could have been. Scorpio Aquarius could be a Scorpio Aquarius. This is clarifying this magician. And I feel like this is a past person. Or, yeah, it has to be because it's regret here constant regret about what could have been they know they know that you are the trophy that you are the prize and they blew it 
you will see them again. And when you do, you will be happy, Virgo Taurus now. And see, this person's been trying to manifest you with this magician here. They're determined to see you again. You're the only person literally on this planet. You have not had a previous life on this planet. You are new here. You are literally the only person on this planet that can make whoever this is happy. Woo! Let's get some closing out messages because this is just holy moly. Final messages, please, and thank you, Spirit. And I don't know why I'm hitting everything. I want to get I'm getting too old to be hitting stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, final messages. Overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you, and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Didn't I say? I don't remember what I said, but I know I said something similar to this with this card here. It's okay to stumble. You are on the right path. You have overcome a lot of adversity in your life. The worst is behind you and you are indeed surmounting any previous challenges. You are in this King of Pentacles energy. Neptune, Neptune just came through and I don't know my planets like I should, but that's what I just heard. Teaching and learning. Yes, Archangel Zachiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. That's what you're doing. That's your calling for many of you. You're already doing this. You're expanding. You are a lifelong learner because you know that this earth is a school. And you are the student and the teacher always. So I'm just going to close that out. Yes, I am. I will see you guys soon in another video. Thank you so much for coming back. I really enjoy being here.